Hello friends, this is slide hunt for you. To visit slide hunt, type www.youtube.com slash slide hunt. Today in this video, we will discuss an important topic of data structures called evaluation of arithmetic expressions. So first we have to know what is an expression. Here we have written some arithmetic expressions. An expression can be written in the combination of constants, variables and symbols in which operators and parentheses are arranged in a specific order or follow a set of rules. When we evaluate an arithmetic expression, we must follow those rules. Here we have written three expressions and all the three expressions follow a common structure. That is, there is an operator between two operands. Now, what is operand? Operand is an object on which operation is to be performed. An operand may be a constant or a variable. In first expression, there are two operands, 5 and 7. Both are constant. And the operator symbol is plus. In the second expression, two operands A and B are variables and the operator symbol is plus. In the third expression, first operand 5 is a constant and second operand B is a variable and the operator symbol is star or multiplication. This is the most common way of writing an expression and this is called infix notation. In this case, an operator is placed between two operands. An operand not only can be a variable or constant, but it can be an expression also. Here I have written another expression. In this expression, multiplication operator has two operands and one of the operand is an expression. For this example, both of the two operands of multiplication operators are expression. One thing I must say here, in this lesson we will talk about only binary operator. An operator take only two operands is called binary operator. You can see here all the operator take only two operands. Okay, next we will learn how to evaluate an expression. Here we write a simple expression. For this case, we just add the two operands and the result is 6. But the complexity arises when an expression has more than two operators. Something like this. This expression has two operators, plus and star. Now the question is, which operation we perform first? For this case, we will follow the precedence rule. The operator which has higher precedence, we perform that operation first. Let's see the operator precedence. Parentheses or bracket have the highest precedence. Next highest precedence is exponentiation. If there is more than one exponentiation, then we follow right to left. For example, 2 exponentiation 2 is equal to 4. But for this case, first we perform this part, 2 exponentiation 3, which reduced to 8. Then we perform 2 exponentiation 8, that is equal to 256. Next precedence is multiplication or division. Multiplication and division has same precedence. For the same precedence, we follow left to right. And the last one is addition and subtraction. For this case also, we follow left to right. According to the operator precedent, multiplication has higher precedence than addition. So we perform this operation first, 3 multiplication 5, which is equal to 15. Then we perform 2 plus 15 that is equal to 17. Let's evaluate another complex expression. Here first we find out the operator which has a higher precedence. We know multiplication and division has a higher precedence than subtraction and addition. For this case, we follow left to right rule. So we perform this operation first, 3 multiplication 4, which is equal to 12. Then we perform 12 divided by 2, that is equal to 6. Now subtraction and addition have the same priority. So we follow left to right rule. 6 minus 5 that is equal to 1. 
then we perform 1 plus 7 that is equal to 8. Operators with equal precedence we have to go from left to right or right to left and this is called operator associativity. For multiple operators with same precedence if we go from left to right then we say that the operator are left associative and if we go from right to left then we say that operators are right associative. The next thing is to evaluate an expression with the use of parenthesis is very important because a parenthesis decide which operation is to be performed first or we can say it decide the order of the operation. Here I am going to put a parenthesis in this expression. Now evaluate it. As we know parenthesis has highest precedence. So we perform this operation first 5 plus 7 which is equal to 12. Now multiplication and division has a higher precedence than subtraction. And for the same precedence we follow left to right rule. So we perform this part first 3 multiplication 4 that is equal to 12 then 12 by 2 6 now we perform 6 minus 12 that is minus 6. In fixed notation is the most common way of writing an expression but it is not the only way. There are other two notation also this are prefix and postfix notation. First we discuss about the prefix notation. Prefix notation is proposed by a Polish mathematician and according to his name prefix notation is also known as Polish notation. In Polish notation operator symbol is placed before operands. A plus B in infix can be written as plus AB in prefix. You can see here operator symbol plus is placed before the two operands A and B. Similarly, 2 star 3 in infix can be written as star 2 3 in prefix. Operator symbol star place before the two operand 2 and 3. Let's see another example. x minus y star z in infix can be written as minus x star y z in prefix. Let's see how to convert this infix expression into prefix. As we know multiplication has higher precedence than subtraction so we perform this operation first y multiplication z. After converting this into prefix expression we will get star yz. We can add parenthesis in the intermediate state and we will delete the parenthesis at the end of the conversion. Now the subtraction operator has two operands. One of the operand is x and another operand is this expression. And after converting this expression into prefix, we get minus x star yz. Now remove this parenthesis and this is the final result. There is another notation to represent the expression is called postfix notation or you can call it as reverse Polish notation. Syntax of the postfix notation is operator symbol is placed after two operands. Infix expression is really easy to understand for human but postfix is good for machine. Postfix expression requires less time and memory to evaluate it which is same as prefix. But the algorithm to evaluate postfix expression is easy and straightforward that's why machine use it. A plus B in infix can be written as AB plus in postfix. As you can see here operator symbol plus is placed after the two operands A and B. Similarly 2 star 3 in infix can be written as 2 3 star in postfix. Let's see another example. X minus Y star Z in infix can be written as X Y Z star minus in postfix. Let's see how to convert this infix expression into postfix. According to the precedence rule we know multiplication has a higher precedence than subtraction. So we perform this operation first. Converting this expression Y star Z into postfix we get Y Z star. 
now subtraction has two operand x and this expression after converting this we get x y z star minus now remove this parenthesis and this is our final result putting parenthesis in the intermediate state is not mandatory but parenthesis increases the human readability so choice is yours this is it this was about infix prefix and postfix notation next tutorial we will learn how to convert an infix expression into postfix programmatically thank you for watching subscribe to our channel for more videos these are some other videos of our channel to watch this video just click on it get in touch with us visit us on youtube at youtube.com slash slide hunt join us on facebook at facebook.com slash slide hunt follow us on twitter and google plus